Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, so I just, uh, I'm, I'm stringing together some videos I took today uh, when I went on a little trip. Um, it, all kind of tobacco related stops, uh, except I did work in a stop to pick up a birthday gift for, for my son, uh, but then I kind of built around a, a trip for me. <laughs> um, so I took a couple of videos along the way uh, to share with everybody. Uh, I stopped uh, at the Dillsburg Tobacco Outlet, which is just a highway side, uh, little roll your own and head shop, honestly. A lot of glass. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Um, but they, I, it, online I had seen that they uh, uh, carry a few snuffs. Um, so I went to check them out. They're only about 40 minutes away from the Boswell's Chambersburg store. So I uh, headed over there. I had intended to make another stop. I'll have to go there some other time and make a video about it. Um, I did stop at the York Barbell Company. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll add that into the end here. Um, although actually not. I don't know if I should really post a video of what the inside of their warehouse looks like. It's a largely empty warehouse. Um, I'm going to leave it out. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy uh, this little trip through Pennsylvania looking looking for snuff. Um, which is hard to find in, in brick and mortar, but uh, I had some success, and uh, and I'll share that all with you. So hope you enjoy. Uh, probably see you at the end, because um, otherwise it's just going to end abruptly and it won't make any sense. So I'll be back and say goodbye. Good morning. It's early on Saturday. Well, not that early anymore, but uh, it's Saturday morning. Uh, I'm heading out on a little bit of a tobacco journey today. I'm going to visit... Uh, a highway side uh, discount tobacco mart in the middle of Pennsylvania that's supposed to carry some uh, American scotch snuffs. Um, and once I'm there, I'm not that far from Boswell's, so I'm probably going to stop in there. Kind of have to. Uh, and then on the way back, um, depending on if there's time, uh, there's an abandoned snuff mill. Um, and a pretty significant one um, that I might be able to work into the trip. So we'll see how it goes. Hope you're having a good morning. Uh, hope I don't fall asleep on the highway. I've made it as far as the car from the garage. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, I've gotten my cool sunglasses on and my uh, old man hat. <clears throat> but also the mailman came and I've got... Uh, I think this is uh, some more bulk star of the east for the can or the big jar in in the garage that's getting kind of low um, and two cans of of this this quarter's small batch from Cornell and Deal. Uh, I I fell for it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm happy to get it. I got two cans. I think it's Carolina Red Flake and Perique. Um, yeah. But it looks like they made enough of it this time. I didn't go out of my way to order it the moment it became available. I actually saw on Twitter that somebody was like, hey, I got some the next day or maybe even the day after that and thought, well, I'll see if there's any in. And and there was some more in stock. So, you know, maybe, maybe it's becoming less of, a, you know, just, just, just a crazy uh, circus uh, show that goes on. And maybe you can actually get these things when they come out. Um, cause like I said, I didn't hurry. Uh, I had kind of forgotten about it. I'd put it out of my mind. Like I'm not going to fall for it this time. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, but anyway, I got two cans of that. I got some more star of the East. Um, it's an entire day, uh, of me just indulging this disorder. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll check in later. Bye. I forgot to mention, I am not going to be smoking. Uh, during this trip, um, trying to keep the car nice, um, but I do have uh, some Jackson's extra strong to get me through the trip uh, if I get angry and fussy and wishing I could have a pipe. Um, <laughs> that is all. <clears throat> I'm just checking in. Uh, I am driving past the Pennsylvania Turnpike exit of my youth. <laughs> We're going past Lebanon, Pennsylvania, where I grew up. There is a, 
I think this is almost a two mile backup of traffic to get off the exit to go to my hometown uh, for the Renaissance Fair. Like it's Saturday at 11 a.m. and there are people who are gonna wait in line on the turnpike just to get to the exit that takes you to the Renaissance Fair. There, there are reasons I don't live in Lebanon anymore. Like, what the... God. There, there, there's got to be a thousand people lined up in their cars on the highway to go to the Renaissance Fair. <laughs> oh. All right. Fare thee well, everyone. Welcome to Dillsburg. At the Billsburg Tobacco Outlet and see if they have decent stuff. All right, so I'm back from inside the Billsburg Tobacco Outlet, and they did have snuff. I'll post some pictures of all the snuff they had. They had some crystals. Uh, they had a sampler box that was empty, but then they had a big box of ONG. But I have plenty of ONG, um, and they had. I'll show you right now. Railroad Mills. Sweet Scotch Dry Snuff. Doesn't say where it's from. Yes, it does. From Wheeling, West Virginia. It was made by Swisher. All right, so the same people that make those terrible cigars. So that's the Sweet Scotch Dry Snuff Railroad Mills Plain. And then they had another one and a different kind of tin altogether. This is from American Snuff. Uh, this is Sweet Snuff Classic Peach. Um, I think this is going to be my favorite just from the, the, the tin quality. But we'll see. I'm not going to be able to try these till I get home because I don't want to make a giant mess and I'm going to want to put these into tins, like real tins. Uh, pipe Bic Lighters. How about that? All here waiting for you uh, in Dillsburg. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head off to Boswell's. Uh, I'm gonna uh, stop at an ATM first so that my purchases are not so traceable. Get some cash. Uh, see you later. I saw this place as I was driving by on the highway. It turns out they don't carry snuff. I, I'm not kidding. They, they just have puff. Ah, we're almost there, almost there. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna do my best not to buy a pipe, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I just uh, was inside Boswell's. I'm at the <clears throat> Chambersburg store. I'm not gonna, I didn't, I, it makes me self-conscious to bring a camera inside places and start taking pictures and, do you mind if I put this on YouTube? Um, lots of people have done videos inside Boswell, so yeah, I mean, if you really want to see the inside of their Chambersburg store, it's available online. But what they did have is in the crystals, uh, that I haven't seen elsewhere. So, uh, McChrystal's English Menthol, which I think is just the same as Old English, because that's pretty much, uh, ONG without the, uh, without the eucalyptus, I think, is just Old English, or... Yeah, and, and anyway, I think this might just be the same as Old English, but now this is English menthol when they're sold here. And then they had repackaged little pots, little plastic pots. So apricot, something called Justice, which I think is a Wilson's of Shero, Dry Toast, Spearmint Plus, and Irish Coffee. Uh, these are each $2 per tub. Uh, I think these might be Wilson's of Cheryl. I, I, those names sound like the ones that I've seen, so I'm going to look that up. But, hey, I may have gotten uh, a nice little sampler bundle uh, of some Wilson stuff that I've been meaning to try. And I'll check. I'll do a side-by-side. -side. I have some of the old English at home, and I'll see this English menthol next to it and see if it's the same stuff in an American label. Uh, all right, I'm off. It's raining like crazy, so I think I'm going to try to just hustle my way home so I can sample some of this stuff. Hustling is still two hours and 30 minutes away, uh, maybe a little more. Um, talk to you later. Somebody's getting some nice Olympic stuff. Mm -hmm.
that's my stuff. Okay, so uh, that's that's the full story of the trip. Uh, I did throw in a little peek inside the York Barbell Warehouse. Um, yeah, somebody's getting some nice stuff. Um, I got some nice stuff, but it's not Olympic stuff. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that. I, I promise I will uh, follow up with some kind of review of those uh, Scotch snuffs. Um, I, I have no idea what to expect um, other than I think they're going to hurt. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll get to that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to finish watching the uh, the F1 Qualies uh, in Austin right now. Um, yeah, I have it on delay, so if you've already seen it, don't tell me in the comments who, uh, who gets pole, because I haven't seen the end. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.